Unveiling the meaning of high birth. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel, where we make English learning easy and fun. Today, we're going to unravel the meaning behind the phrase high birth. Whether you've come across it in classic literature or a modern day article, understanding this phrase will help you gain deeper insight into English social and historical contexts. So, let's dive right in. High birth is a phrase that is less about altitude and more about social status. It refers to someone who is born into a family with a high social rank or aristocracy. But why is this phrase significant? And what does it reveal about English culture and history? That's what we're here to explore. When we say someone is of high birth, we imply that they have been born into a family with esteemed lineage, often with titles such as Duke, Earl, or Lady, and with ancestors who might have been important figures in history. This term carries connotations of privilege, power, and often, wealth. Historically, being of high birth was a big deal in England and many other societies. It opened doors to exclusive education, powerful connections, and a level of respect and authority not easily accessed by the common folk. It was, and in some respects still is, a cornerstone for the class system, a division of society based on social and economic status. In literature, characters of high birth are often portrayed with specific expectations regarding their behavior, responsibilities, and roles in society. Think of it as a defining characteristic that shapes their entire life's narrative. In contemporary times, the term high birth is not as commonly used as it was in the past. However, it still pops up in discussions about history, aristocracy, and when describing someone's lineage in a formal context. It's also relevant in studies of sociology, anthropology, and when exploring the concept of class dynamics in English-speaking cultures. Moreover, understanding this phrase enriches your comprehension when encountering characters from noble families in books, movies, or TV shows. It helps you grasp the nuances that come with their social standing. The concept of high birth has permeated English expressions and idioms as well. For example, when someone is said to have blue blood, it's another way of saying they are of noble lineage, linking to the same concept as high birth. These phrases are full of history and provide color to the English language by conveying stories and images of past societies. I hope this video has shed light on what it means to be of high birth and why this term has carried such weight throughout history. Remember, phrases like these open a window into the world of English beyond just vocabulary. They introduce us to culture, history, and social structures. Thank you for watching, and I hope you found this discussion enlightening. Until our next video, keep learning, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more English language gems.